Greetings everybody and uh, welcome back to Daddy the Grand, the Granddaddy Place. Have a nice death. I was about to say Hand of Death and I have no idea where that was coming from. Actually I do. Have a nice death. The initials for that one actually makes the word Hand. There you go. <laughs> Damn. I actually call these episodes Hand in my save files. For the video data, that is. It just happened, you know? It's one of those things. Anyway, last run. Last one was quite exciting, to say the least. We had a lot of good. We also had quite a few bads. And I would say that the bads were mostly calculated. Mostly, not all of them, but mostly. Now, in the name of science and progress, I would like to see another run that just gives us a lot of cool stuffs to work with. So we can further our knowledge about anything going on in here. And just have ourselves a good time and don't get punched by these big burly dudes. Enjoy the stun time. Enjoy the stun time and the damage. And we got a quadra kill in there. No penta for us, sadly. But it can't be helped. There is the Vladislaw. Law. Would you look at that? That's something we never had. Applies sacrificial healing. Heals HP but reduces maximum HP. That is so bad, though. That is very bad, though. Oh my god, it took 5 of my maximum HP away from me. That is very bad, though. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm still gonna keep it around, at least for the moment. If nothing else, because I want to know what the fully upgraded versions are gonna do. Oh, man, that is rough. Still probably not bad, you son of a gun. Still probably not bad to have as an emergency button, right? But even then, we don't know for how much it really, really heals you. I think it would be fair to say that it should be a full heal. There's also Poison Gift. Had that on the last run, so we are definitely going to build up on that one. What a run this already is. Crazy. We haven't had less than 65 max HP ever since we finished the tutorial. Remember the tutorial? We started on 50 HP, then we found an item that increased it to 65. And that is what we have been riding on ever since. I take this, thank you. I take this too. I feel like I would have preferred it reducing my maximum mana instead of my HP, but, you know, baggers and choosers. That actually could have been pretty, pretty cool design, because then its usefulness would still be limited. By you only having that much MP. Say it takes 10 maximum HP every time you use it. You could only use it 5 times over the course of a given run. Unless you get more maximum MP, which is possible. Or maybe reduce the cost for it. You were attacking me and so are you. I'm not having that. What is this gonna do for me? Oh, it healed me and it gave me max HP. Okay, 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 okay. The frenzy effect is where it's at. I see, I see. Blood is law. Immediately vindicated itself. That's neat. I'm pretty sure it did heal me, right? I think it did. I think it should have. Come here. And it's done. That is the Behemoth. I'm gonna take it, not because I like it or want it, because I really, really don't. But it's another weapon that we still haven't seen fully upgraded. I'm not excited for the idea of doing that either. But the things that we do for science. So if the Vladis Law is always going to give me 5 extra maximum HP, then anything that makes my frenzy regeneration bad is gonna be huge. Let's see. Infuse burn. I'm not sure I feel about that, truth be told. But it's not like we have that much of a choice in here. Retain one. We're gonna leave it behind. We're gonna take the infuse burn. 
It's free extra damage, no matter what they say. And I mean, the damage doesn't scale that nicely. At least from my experience. But, at least in the early game right now, it's gonna do just fine. So far, so good, so good, so nice. And there is Mr. Hung. Let's go. He is on fire up in here. And we are getting pummeled. Well, the joke's on you. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yep, he me to full and gave me max HP. The dream. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I did not expect this would end up becoming like this, but man, do I appreciate it. Vladis Law already made my good list, just like that. I feel like that is a very, very beginner-friendly item. If you understand that much about it. The cloak deals plus 5 critical damage, bleeding effects which we don't have, survive a fatal attack. I don't think we're going to really, truly need that anytime soon. So we're gonna take that extra critical strike chance. Who knows, maybe that hammer is actually going to hurt someone somewhat decently. There's a shop, are we gonna go to the Vita Mana department? I am really looking forward to see what the upgrades for that one is gonna do. I think it's probably not an actual full heal, so upgrades will probably just make it heal you more. I hate you so much, girl. So much. Can't even blame the girl for that one. It's just me trying to use the hammer, even though I know how bad it is. Also, oh no, I pushed the wrong button. I pushed the wrong button. I used the healing effect twice. Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Oh my god, the hammer is so bad. I have no words for how bad it is. Silly. We need to be very, very mindful about not accidentally using it. The max HP loss. We had 70 and I immediately botched it down to 60. We need to be very, very careful. And not gonna lie, if we see something new that we haven't seen before, that we can replace the hammer with. I'm going to take that trait. I am absolutely, in a heartbeat, going to take that trait. You better believe that. But at least for the moment, it's still where the novelty kinda is. Because we just avoided it ever since the start. The rest thing is he actually believes it. He does believe it. Alright there, Bradley. No. Oh, <laughs> oh, you. Oh, you, Brad. You're on fire, Brad. Ah, getting slapped. Oh, I must looked. Now we can get the fully charged effect in here. There you go. Oh man, I got I can already tell. This is gonna be one of those runs where we end up suffering from me just continuously pushing the wrong button. That's gonna be very, very bad. Oh, why is that so bad? That small hitbox. I was like, I'm gonna hit him from the air. And then we don't. What's he doing? The people's elbow. I see how it is. Getting slapped again. He's dashing. He's hitting me. That's fine. Hammer again. And we got him. If he would have known what the... What is it called? Vadislaw? Vadislaw? My god. I have to double check the name on that one. You would have known what that one does immediately. It wouldn't have done any wrong button inputs. I think we would be at like 80 or 85 HP right now. Despite not having gotten any upgrades. Bloody slaw. There you go. Poisoned. I am not even going to dare taking that. Scythe and Cloak Aerial Damage Increase though. That's neat. That's a very, very good one. That is quite the nice one for a lot of reasons. Onwards to the next floor we go. Hmm. Here's me hoping. Here's me hoping from the bottom of my heart for something to replace the ammo with. My god. My god. I could have just kept the poison gift around. It was always an option. But no. I wanted to be cool and novel. We should ask Rhymes to pop down. It's been a while since I had an unpleasant conversation. <laughs> oh, I, I have to remember that one. I have to remember that one. 
I have to look up an ex-girlfriend. Hey, girl, how have you been? We should meet up again. I haven't had an unpleasant conversation in quite a while. Wouldn't that be great? Alright, let's go to Tony. Can we get a full charge in here? Ah, oh, we didn't even need to. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, we are fully charged again. And do it now. Back to fully healed and back to regular HP. If we just pretend that we just now got the item, we can assume that we never got any bad effects of it, I guess. Well, I thought for a moment I would get hit there. The hammer, man. The hammer is just that bad. I have no words for its overall bad. I need to push that rope button again! I oh okay fine fine you know what fine change them around I'm always pushing the Y button when I want to attack and I don't even know why that is but I had enough out of that I have no idea why that is H R office Mr Osha it was just a meme at this point I'm just self sabotaging all of course intentionally in the name of entertainment believed everybody. So bad. So bad. So very, very bad, then, Hammer. Alright, what do we get in here? Inflation, <laughs> extra maximum HP. We have a reroll, though. Extra damage on the scythe and cloaks ground attacks. Take it. Extra damage is always welcome. There's a sea glue. There was a sea glue. And I see a baby. Um, I saw you, I guess. But then you died. Same for you. And we got a big fight on our hands in here. And they got their head off. It's fine, because we are fully charged yet again. And back to regular HP again. So if we assume that we just now got the item for the first time, we have nothing to feel bad about. Am I right? Am I right? Okay, you need to stop spawning in, though. With you. That is the makeshift rockets. I'm pretty sure we had them before. I am not remembering if we ever fully upgraded them, though. We're gonna keep the ammo around for the moment. Mostly because we invested into damage that comes from weapons and not from spells at this point. Two curses in here, though. That makes me happy. Spells here plus five damage. Discount on control rooms. A cloak deals ten percent extra damage. We can also go for a reroll. Retain at the side damage. That's actually very, very nice too. Imagine a world where the hammer actually ends up becoming useful. Who knows? It might happen. It might happen. But I'm still hoping that we're just not going to keep it around forever. There's an equipment storage, you know? This one might be the real breadwinner in here. But I feel like Slagor together with the Vlice Law. That would be a fun combination because you would just get these huge healings and HP maximum increases all along them day. That's what you get. That's what you get, buddy. There's a cannon. And I don't want to deal with it. Nope. No, no, no. Oh, what? He didn't get stunned by that. It's crazy. Still died, though. As he should. There's the world dagger. We already had that one before. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. And I think I really had my fair share out of poison. I think we had enough out of that on the last run or so. There's something over here. Is it good? It's chompers. Chompers are good, but we don't want them on this particular run right now, now do we? I mean, I wouldn't mind having them, but, you know, they are not... No, we already had them before. We also had the rocket launcher before. It's pretty, pretty neat. But we already had it not too long ago. It feels like that one is showing up all the time. I don't even feel bad about it. I actually like that it shows up all the time. Alright, the control room. Let's see what these upgrades are going to do for us. Let me see. 
So the hammer just gets extra damage. Sacrificial healing increases healing by 5. I had a feeling this would be the case. So it's actually not a complete full healing. I'm gonna upgrade this one first because I think this one has more interesting implications for us. Sacrificing healing increases healing by another 5. And then it just goes up to 15. Okay, I gotta say, these upgrades, not that good. Truly, truly not that good. But that's just the way it is. We have to go see Slimer now. Mostly, but not exclusively, because we have no more Solaries to spend on the shop anyway. But also because we still want more empowerment in here. And more fighting opportunities means more opportunities to give us more maximum HP. Let's go, Slimer. Let's go. It's gonna go up. All the way up in there. Oh, Why is the hammer so bad, though? That was a pretty, pretty good bonk, though. Oh, what? What? How did I? How did I? How did that happen? How did I glitch in front of him there? How is that? That? Okay, we got some more HP out of that. Bonked him. Bonked him good. And we're done. Was it worth our time, though? Extra crit chance, extra scythe damage, extra scythe crit chance. Um, let's just take the scythe. Damage or crit chance? I kind of want both of them. We're gonna take the scythe critical strike chance because it opens up another path in the future, too. And yeah, there's a couple of us and... Uh, Weapons where we feel like their main appeal is to just be support roles and or just make the scythe itself as best as it could. And I kind of feel like just having that healing and the extra bit of HP, it kind of fits into that. So maybe going for a more scythe every run from the year on out might be the best place for us to go. But we're gonna make that up as we continue in here. Not gonna lie, I'm really, really not in a good mood fighting Grimes here. I feel like this fight is going to be a little bit of a pain right now because while we do have pretty okay sustain, we are heavily lacking in the damage department. I must be single-handedly responsible for around 90% of death. Why don't we have a little one-on-one -on -one to put an end to your impertinence? Let's do that. Let's tussle. Big fists. And as I want to whack him with my big hammer. I get whacked by his big fists. Yeah, we need a lot more damage in here. That's not to say that our damage is bad, but... I mean, you catch my drift, right? You catch it. Okay, we can actually heal ourselves back up again. 75 max my HP. Whack. Almost done. Almost done. And we got him. Okay, that actually went a little bit faster than I thought it would. You are responsible for 90% of disasters. You need to slow it down or the pistons will be the next thing to go under. But boss, if we outsource... No, wait. It was... F <laughs> if we fire 52 exploits... Okay, fine. Forget it. Yeah, you don't want to fire. It's never putting you in a good light. Cloak deals more damage, but costs mana. Infuse lifesteal. We don't need lifesteal because we have so much sick healing going on in here. We're gonna take... I'm not entirely convinced that we are never gonna use the cloak, but I think... I think we're gonna go for the scythe damage in here. I think that is going to do a bit more for us. Imposter's being immune to stun. It's always a pretty, pretty good one to take, I think. Keep on a moving. Not gonna lie, I'm actually amazed how this run is going right now. But I don't hate it. Insane self healing. Our scythe is slowly but steadily picking up in pace and damage. And heals injuries. We ain't got no injuries. <laughs> we have the source to heal all of our injuries right here with us. We cannot be stopped. Alright, here we are. Here we are. The other healing item, I forgot the name. That we already had in the past. Also, very good item. 
by a long shot. It's very good if you want to just spam heals. That is what that main appeal was. The mon we have right now is more when you want to forsake damage for possible extra maximum HP potential. And he's down. Burned to death. And that is also going to serve us just nicely. Leaving my previous interest in I oh, Okay, I thought I thought when I was pushing the button again. I thought but oh, we didn't. Um if we were leaving my interest for the scythe and for weapons to the side. Just anything that has a very high rate of attack or otherwise increases our fury generation would actually be kind of sick. Just for how much it would provide us with maximum HP. So who knows, maybe the game is going to give us another Slagor. And it would be great. We don't be needing that. 80 maximum HP, but more to come. And, 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 and. This is where we came from, right? Yeah, we have to go down there. Fine, keep moving. Someone probably did keep count, right? How many maximum HPs will we have if I never would have made any bad button pushes? I think it would be... We're gonna go to Teosha here for sure. I think it should be around the 120 mark. We have definitely had quite a few. But on the other hand, just put that... Keep that in mind. We could have 120 HP right now. That is the quality this item holds. Oh, we got airborne enemies, so we're gonna strike them down. And all the scythe damage we have been picking up left and right is really coming together as well. Hey there, you're dead. Hey there, you're dead too. And you as well. I'm not gonna be there for it when it happens. I really, really like slaying these enemies right about now. Just because it actually gives me more fury. More frenzy, rather. So we can keep on bringing the maximum HP. He hit me? Doesn't matter. Gotta heal back up. The Shakespeare. The Shakespeare, the Shakespeare, the Shakespeare. I really, really like the Shakespeare. I like it more than the hammer, which we already nerfed. But because of the nature of the perk we picked earlier, we reduced all of our cloak damage by quite a bit, so the Shakespeare is going to hit like a wet noodle now because of this one. And it's not affecting the hammer as much because it deals its damage in one single swoop. Ah... Can't be helped. Another time. Speed upgrades, I think we have seen at some point in the past. And it's pretty, pretty good. Probably one of my favorite weapons to use, just for how stable it feels. It's a very reliable weapon. It gets constantly good upgrades. That explosion did a lot of damage, by the way. But doesn't matter, we're gonna heal that up at the earliest convenience. Spell damage, don't care. Lifesteal, don't care at all. But more scythe damage and more return. We're just gonna take that. And this is... Splurity's projectile will split on contact. With a curveball that is as surprising as it is sticky. I'm not actually... Oh, that's actually fine. We're gonna... Those are the rock throwers, I'm pretty, pretty sure. And, uh, yeah, the rock throws are very, very annoying, but it should be fine in here. We have some money for the control room, but I think I would rather go and fight Dengi again, just for more curses to come our way. We are in that awkward spot where we could have only gotten one upgrade with the amount of solaries we have, so not much point. Not much point. Not much point. Blah, 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 blah. Not much point going in the control room right about now. Need to go though. You were annoying me. Another thing that would be great with this kind of run is uh, perks that benefit upon you getting hit. And in the best of worlds, there's actually a perk that gives you frenzy recharge if you get hit. It's not a lot of a recharge, but you know, still matters, still counts. Um, let's go downwards first, because there might be something good. If Mr. Osha is maybe waiting for us down here somewhere, I would hate to miss that. 
Let's see if we can realize that kind of potential. Gotcha all, gotcha down. Nothing else? That was a waste of time coming in here. Damn. Oh, can't be helped. Cannot be helped. Back to Mr. Dengi's place then. Our damage really ended up creeping up quite nicely. We never got those one big burst of extra damage. But the small amounts of damage that we constantly ended up getting in here, they really, really made a difference. He's gonna dash at me. Actually, I had to use one of our animas. And there he is again. Can heal ourselves back up in here? We did. And he's just life stealing all the way back up again. He's dashing. He's quite dashing, isn't he? He's also. He was on fire a little while ago. And he's dead. Now we are looking better than ever. 90 maximum HP. Pretty nice. They really want me to have this lifesteal, huh? Charge attack deals a huge chunk of extra damage, though. I'm gonna lie, I'm actually kinda tempted. I actually am kinda tempted for this one. You know what? I'm gonna deal. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take it. I'm not made out of stone. Uh, Nerysian's getting lifesteal. Let them. Let them have lifesteal. As long as we can kill them, we are not going to get bothered by it. Curse reroll department, which means even more curses coming our way. Maybe the equipment room would have also been nice because we are still not super committed to keeping the hammer around. But at this point, we already made so many choices that really just tick us so hard towards the direction of the scythe. I think at this point, if we were to get something like the Slagor, that would be the best choice. We could get in here. And who knows, maybe the game is going to do that for us eventually. Oh, oh the crit on that one too. Lovely. It's great, it's beautiful. They all go down. It's all falling down for you. A little bit of healing. We might as well. We might as well. Not like we have anything to lose that way. Anything else down there? There might be. So let's double check. Pretty, pretty sure there is not. Because I feel like I'm recognizing the room layout. At least to some degree. It's never a bad thing to be thorough. Sure. 194 damage and one charge attack. It's pretty, pretty neat. And yeah, there really was nothing else in here. What a waste. What a waste of time and talent. At least he died. And he died. What's up in here? Who's up in here? It's you and me together. Some more maximum mana, which we really barely need. And it fired in situation. Just make them go smoosh. <laughs> and it's done. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. That was probably some of the best usage of uh, overall charge attacks I've ever seen out of myself. They really, really want me to have life steal in here. You see this? It's insane. Scythe deals plus 50% damage. Hell yeah. And shop prices increase by 50%. Nah. Let's solid people heal themselves. They don't look very well and aren't afraid to show it. Oh god, I have no idea what enemies those are. Not from the first look at it. But let them solid themselves. We are going to deal with them accordingly, right after Mr. Crank. Mr. Crank, of course, takes precedence. Cranky, cranky, cranky. Scythe damage is really coming along nicely. Doom. You ready, Mr. Crank? 
Oh, what a sorry excuse for a keyboard. Okay, we had that line before. We know it. We know it. I just realized how his desk also goes down. As if it was made of slime. And now it makes me wonder if he is made... It was also part of his body. Like the disc of... The desk of Mr. Grimes was. Who knows? Might be. Stage position for him. More max HP for me. Finally, I've reached the 100 properly. He's dancing around, calming me a little bit. And we do not mind the dash attack either. Yeah, keep on striking me down. I'm gonna keep coming and you're death. Oh, oh. That will be no... That will no doubt solve the issue. It's not very hygienic. I don't think he was just purposely spitting on the ground. He was just dying. They really want me to have that lifesteal, huh? They really, really do. What am I going to do about this? I mean, we could just take it. What would be the point? Scythe and the cloak deal plus 10 critical health. That is good. I wonder if mine is having the lifesteal too, but let's be real. We have, we have healing that increases our max HP. Lifesteal would just be a little bit much. It would still be cool. Because it would be an extra layer of defense. But it would be a little bit much. No, I think we can all agree on that. Joe, so according to my calculations, we have a ratio of blows dealt between 25 and 135 to 1. That's more or less what it takes to turn Hector Crank into crab meat. Not bad at all, boss. Thank you. I'm trying very hard. Let's eat some crab soup together next time. Or a Krabby Burger. Oh man, I could go for a burger right now. A real, real good burger. An outstanding burger. The king of all burgers. Ah, I'm probably gonna go to the grocery store after this, am I not? There's a good chance that I am. And let's remember, these guys can get stunned. We took a curse for that early on today. Oh, come over here. Boom, baby. 223 damage on that. Not too shabby. We take that. Nice, nice, nice. And another one bites that dust. Oh, you! Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. And he's gone. Keep attacking so we can get our healing back up as fast as possible. Anybody else? Anybody else? I was about to say, there's at least gonna be something left in here, right? Good. There's our healing. Go crazy. Take out the airborne guys first. And now we're gonna go for the box. And the box is gone. There's a second box, because of course there is. And the box is gone. There's our skill toe, huh? Okay, I'm gonna take this. And there's a lot of reasons for that. First of all, everything is better than the hammer. Second of all, Mosquitoes have a very, very high rate of attack. So we will be able to get a lot of frenzy recharge out of them. It's the only reasonable choice in here. And also, we did reduce the damage of cloaking attacks, but not of spells. So these are still going to perform just nicely. Let's go crazy. Let's go crazy with the Mosquitoes. Yeah, do you see how fast my frenzy meter is charging? Heal me back to full. Wait for some mana recharge. Wait for some mana recharge. And do it again. This is working. This is doing work. Okay. That guy just died. I guess. Fine. Fine. Okay. There's the other healing item. The Mortison. The Mortison. It's hilarious. They really want us to go hard on the healing, but no. No. No, no, no. One healing item for us is to... It's, it's gonna be enough, I think. I think we can all agree. There we go. 115. And it just keeps coming. You can hit me if you want to. Would have been great if we would have had lifesteal now, right? <laughs> Am I right? There's the beast. We gotta say no to those, though. Damn my, though. 
pretty, pretty good. Eh, would you look at that? We got some healing out of that. Did they just kill something up in there that was just a lot of screens away from me? It's crazy. Mr. Osha, let's go. Uh, termination resets the cooldown. I'll take it. Gosh, I hope there's gonna be something like defense or something that rewards us for getting hit. Be neat. Enjoy the mosquitoes. Enjoy them. Enjoy them real good. And there we go again. Keep the HP coming. Keep him coming. Why did they not kill that guy, though? Come on. And there's gonna be another big fight up in here. Get a charge attack up and ready. Come over here. Nice. That was a good way to start this combat situation. Almost killed us still going crazy in here. It's lovely. Gonna get another full charge in a moment. There we go. More maximum HP. We're done. It's another cursory roll. Not sure if that one's really gonna come in handy. But we have enough money to upgrade our scythe to the fullest. So the next time we're gonna see a control room, it's gonna be our golden window of opportunity. Oh, get me up in there. Get me up in there. Thank you. Control room? No control room. We're gonna go to the hazardous floor then. Don't get me wrong. This is working nicely, and we are borderline invincible at this point, right? But, if I were to be given the opportunity to get myself something else that is just very cool and we haven't seen so far, I would absolutely take it. But with all that being said and done, I'm already plenty happy about how all of this came together. It's a lot more than I ever thought we would get. I just realized... Because of the, um, because of some of the effects we've gotten out of the side three, we're actually dealing pretty, pretty sick damage in here with our Mosquitoes. I thought it was just five base damage. I was wrong. It's much, much more when we're dealing with them. And I like it. Oh, you! It's hilarious. It's hilarious. Looking at that... 40 damage every tick. As long as we keep getting that retrain damage. It's hurting these jokers. It's hurting them a lot and we get even more max HP. Let's go. We don't actually have 145 HP already, right? That has to be one of the temporary buff effects that we have right now, right? Now we're looking at 180 there for a moment. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. He's dead. And we actually got a Prisma Mini as well, huh? Neat. Not sure what we're gonna do with that one, though, but... Neat, nevertheless. There's the control room. Would've loved to fight Candace there as well. But with all the resources we got at our hands right now, we have to invest into our side. No doubt about it. Well, the shop would've also made for a nice choice, but... You got something to say? I don't see what talent people see in little Hector. He's pathetic. That's what I don't get. To be honest, Master, I miss his predecessor a lot. Kirk Vuzini was fun. I love this ridiculous bird mask. Someone look up if there's actually something or someone going by the name of Carvuzini. Because I kind of feel like that is referencing something meaningful. Alright, we're not gonna upgrade this one, though. Not today. We're just gonna go hard on the scythe. Weapons, even more crit chance, which is lovely. And we also want that gust of wind. Mm. I just realized this one actually really increases defense. That actually makes it a lot better. Not sure what protects from projectiles means in this context. I kind of feel like maybe... You know what? Let's take it. Let's take it. We haven't had that one in quite a while. Per Parasol? It was not always Parasol, right? Top Gear combining a shield SP. This is not something we had before. I am sure. Where did that one coming from? It increased our defense even more, first of all, which is great. Where did this one come from? I thought it was always the same items. It's actually a Parasol. What? Where was this for all my life? I'm going to see the charge attack for this one. 
Same as always. Now I want to see the frenzy attack for that one too. We want that for all my life. I did not know that was a thing. But I like it. <laughs> you know me, I like my shields. And it looks like it has a pretty, pretty satisfying range. And a pretty okay rate of attacks too. And the area combat combo actually feels pretty, pretty good as well. Oh, that's nice. And then he just floats there for a spell. That's cool. And the downward attack? <laughs> oh man, if that protects you from every angle, that would be cool. Okay, we got, we're gonna experiment in this fight. Max has a lot of projectiles to fly around. We're gonna see. How many important cases of warplay suicides falling... Uh, following or following unemployment? It says following. I'm pretty, pretty sure it means following. I'm not even going to try to understand. Yeah, it's, that's me right there. I agree. What's it gonna do? Yep, it protects you. It protects you while this is up. That is amazing. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Could still let some of those go. Because I want to see what the go crazy effect is going to do for this. It's raining, man! Hallelujah! It's still raining. This rain lasts for a long time. Where was this umbrella for all my life? It's crazy. It's crazy good. I'm not going to be there for that, though. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. I'm back on the field. Let's heal ourselves back up. Give ourselves even more max HP. This is crazy, crazy nice. Oh. And we got him. I feel like... <laughs> not to mention bullying in the workplace. Yeah, that's bad. That's very bad. Yeah, it's quite the opposite. We should be talking about it. Ah, <laughs> just not with you. At least he was on the same page with someone at some point. I'm not gonna lie. It kind of feels like Max is the only one who's talking sense every now and then. And that by itself is scary as hell. Um, I'm gonna reroll this one because I don't need poison in here. We're gonna take the XP. And yeah, if you just ignore how pretty okay this feels for the sake of damage dealing potential and how just using it apparently also makes you feel a bit more protected from all those projectiles, it giving you defense is huge. Defense is a pretty, pretty good stat in this game that just keeps you alive pretty, pretty nicely. It's not to be underestimated. I have had the best idea lost. Hang on, I wrote it down on a posted somewhere. Thanks for the plastic monkeys. Um, no, not that one. We already know that. We're gonna take that extra max HP. Let's go. It's not gonna last us long, but we're gonna deal with it for as long as we can. 220 HP. The dream. This run ended up being so much cooler than I thought it would be. And it already started super, super cool. And it just keeps giving. Snap that. Use this one up in here already. I'm gonna keep on using Mosquitoes here for a while because there's something I want to see for a spell. Also, take this. Even though we don't really need the Solis at this point. Okay, we're fully charged again. I was not sure it was still only increasing it by 5 because I once thought it was increasing it by 10, but no, it's still 5. Good. Hello there, buddy. You look stunned, and now you look pretty, pretty dead to me. And here we go again. We got stuns. Oh, man, I like this. I like this so much. I like this an awful, awful lot. Took some damage there. It's fine. Heal. We got heals for days, boys and girls. Oh man, why is this so good? And wait, 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 did they even just float and deal damage? It's kind of hard to say. It's kind of hard to say. Only small problem is you actually can't end the floating prematurely. You are bound to be airborne there. Until the animation ends. It's a very small negative. I'm still liking this an awful, awful lot. And guys, I subscribe to the idea that an umbrella makes for a much, much better weapon than a scythe. 
If I were given the choice between using a scythe and using an umbrella as my weapon of choice, there's a good chance I would pick the umbrella. Probably not a run of the hill umbrella, but there's some pretty, pretty cool products you can buy where they have uh, reinforced cloth that can even withstand knife steps and all of that stuff. There's some pretty, pretty cool stuff you can get in that regard. A well-crafted and well-engineered umbrella is a gentleman's weapon of choice. And there he is again, sitting atop his war machine. We can't hear you! Five consecutive strategic strikes, let's go! He's bringing the rockets, and I am not gonna be there for it. I used my healing there once by accident. I just realized that that actually gives you a lot of upwards momentum. This is so good. So I was killed to see you for a spell and keep going. I can just use this up in the air and be airborne, just be safe from that. Go crazy with this one. You actually send it up in the air. It's gonna come down. It's actually got destroyed. Good stuff. And we got crazy damage off there against him. And you know, we don't even need to focus on uh, just using the self heal for the sake of getting more maximum HP. We can just use it right this. We're losing a little bit of maximum HP. We don't care. The game is almost over. Okay, you know, do that again. Do that again. He's just going up there into the sky. I'm not there for it. Literally so. I want to see him use the records again. Yeah, blocking the fires. Blocking the rockets. Most of them. He's going crazy now. He's going crazy now. But I don't mind. My god, I love this umbrella. I think we found my favorite weapon in the game, guys. I think we find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at how my little damage I take. Oh, that's, that's still probably quite a bit. It's probably still quite a bit, but because of how much HP we have and how much defense we have, we are just not truly mining all of that. Let's bring in the Mosquitoes yet again. And heal ourselves back to full. Just do it outright like that. Easy money. Yeah, hop around, see how much I care. Pliskin, Pliskin, Pliskin. This is not your day today, trust me on that front. He's bringing out the rockets. I don't mind, I got crits. He's dead. <laughs> Target more powerful than expected. Must follow orders from superiors. Over. I am your superior major. Put an end to this right now. Or you're not going to know what hit you. We all know what's happening now. Yeah. Yep. I wonder who's aiming these at him. I wonder. Oh man, that was a great run. I learned a lot. I'm going to double look at those weapon tabs on the shop a lot more religiously. Because even on a run where I would like to just make a spell or a gear work out nicely for me, just for that 5 defense. I can't stress that enough. 5 defense is a lot. It's a lot. And every now and then having that on-demand projectile protection is great. Is good. Is so good. Is so incredibly good. I have no idea what my accent just became there. Baking it with the side. I have no idea what that means. I literally do not know what that is implying. But I take it. It's giving me extra points, so I take it. Oh man, that was easily one of the most satisfying runs I've played for this game so far. It had everything. It had the novelty, it had a little bit of frustration with the bad hammer early on. And there it is, the umbrella was apparently a weapon that we were missing out. It was always there, right in front of us. There's one more up in there though, I see that. Maybe we can get it now, can we? We cannot. Sad. Sad indeed. Very sad indeed. Now I wish even more that would just allow the different versions of the quote-unquote scythe to be different weapons that you can just start with. I think that would be better for the overall roguelite aspect. But yeah, definitely my favorite scythe so far and one of my favorite runs ever. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. But until then, the greatest of days, and please do stay as awesome as you are.